SpongeBob SquarePants is a beloved show by people all over the world and remains the only Nickelodeon show from the 90s that is still making new episodes. Of course, with that comes SpongeBob video games. While the library is not particularly great, there is one game that is universally accepted as the best. But it's becoming increasingly obvious. I can deny it no longer! I am small. That game is SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Not only is it one of the first games I have ever played, but it is also one of the best games I have ever played. Released in 2004 by Heavy Iron Studios, Battle for Bikini Bottom shows that not all licensed games are particularly bad. Firstly, they really pay attention to the source material. They give little nods to references to the show. And it also had its own jokes that you could see being in the show. They even bent all my spoons! I love those spoons like they were my children! That's terrible! Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! And there are nine main levels that are unique to the different places in the Spongebob universe. Firstly, we have Jellyfish Fields, then Downtown Bikini Bottom, then Goo Lagoon, then the Mermelayer, then Rock Bottom, then Sand Mountain, then Spongebob's Dream, then Kelp Forest, and then finally, the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. Each level is very unique and offers a great variety of content and amazing soundtrack pieces. Speaking of the soundtrack, this game's soundtrack is phenomenal. Just listen to some of the songs that this game has for you to listen to. Obviously, the game's music composer took a lot of time to make sure that the music was really good for this game. Let's get to the story. To sum it up, Plankton creates an army of robots, but fails miserably because he did not set the switch to obey. As to why there is even an obey and disobey switch, I will never know. Meanwhile, Spongebob and Patrick are playing with toy robots, and they wish that their robots actually existed by using a magic wishing show. Then the next day, there were actually robots all over Bikini Bottom. So Spongebob feels as if he is responsible for the robot outbreak. So now, the robots are on the loose in Bikini Bottom and Spongebob wants to stop them. As for the game itself, it is a standard 3D platformer a la Mario 64. It is relatively easy to play through. In each world, there are multiple golden spatulas for you to collect. A golden spatula basically works how a jiggy would work in Banjo-Kazooie. You collect them to help you unlock later levels. And all the levels in the game are pretty easy. Well. Uh, <laughs> most levels, but they are all very fun, except for Kelp Forest. Kelp Forest is a bit. <clears throat> Anyways, as for the characters that you can play as, you can play as either SpongeBob, Patrick, or Sandy, and each one of them has their own special abilities. SpongeBob gets most of the love. He gets a standard attack, an up smash attack, and a ground pound and he can eventually learn how to do a bubble bowl and to shoot a bubble missile. Patrick can do a standard attack, belly flop, and he can also pick up fruit and throw them at enemies or buttons. Sandy can do a standard attack, she can lasso an enemy from a fair distance, she can glide in the air for a limited amount of time, and she can latch her lasso on flying Texas signs to use them to kind of swing on. Each character is used in different ways, so there are instances where you have to switch characters to complete a puzzle via the bus stops found in each level. 
The last thing to note of in this game are the bosses. While none of them are particularly hard, they are all fun to fight against. My favorite of the bosses is Spongebob. He is the final boss and he's a pretty good challenge if you don't understand his patterns entirely. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching my review of Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Let me know what other games you guys want me to review down in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, I might do a let's play of this game sometime. So I'll see you guys in the next video.